Okay, a few more thermal regulators are in. Temperature is coming up really nicely. This ship is actually livable. Holy crap. We can get out of here. Welcome, my friends, to Space Haven Alpha 16. We are beginning a new series. And, well, we're going to scrap this right out the gate. We're only going to use the claimable derelict that's there. What does it look like? Very small, but it has an airlock. It looks like two hull stabilizers next to each other. That might be interesting. Might be very interesting. It's got a X1 hyperdrive. It's got something there, probably storage. So we need to get that thing up and running. Let's look at our crew, shall we? We've got... Janice Hill, who's gonna run mostly weapons and looks like mostly industry stuff. Mark Little is gonna run mostly the bridge officer stuff, but a little bit of botany, potentially. Some medical, he'll get good at it. Miguel San is a good botanist, potentially. Some shielding, some operations, a little bit of weapons. But Zuzu is my botanist, of course, of the battle botanist variety. He's also good at bridge officer kind of stuff with navigation, shielding, and operations, and research. Next, oh, he's a very intelligent dude. Then we got Wheelie, who's our primary medic and navigator, it seems. Well, let's get after it, shall we? There's been a lot of changes. Most of the basic mining is pretty standard, but we're going to do this real quick. I'll run through some of the changes. Looks like we've got a new system core, and that's how you get system points. I think you've also got whole stabilizers, if I remember right, but we'll see with that. I think these are mostly for these stations, rather. We've got a new type of airlock, a station hold door. You can build those right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Power has changed. Let's take a look at that real quick. We're back to the old power node mode, where you can... Designate where you want high power. You can add more of these. Everything's been under one. You need high capacity grids, low capacity grids, or not on the grid at all. Outside of that, we'll have to dig into this as we go. There's two nodes in this room, three actually, so there's a lot of power in here for all the industry stuff. This is all set up to process everything except for that. Let's work on that. The idea is we need to get that claimable derelict up and running as soon as we can. Let's do this on continuous. We'll build a little bit. Refine the biomatter. Do I want to grow anything here? Yeah, let's get some root veggies going because they're pretty cheap. We'll just get those going as much as possible. Get everybody a little bit of experience doing this. Okay, those are going good. We have space with lockers. We have all that. So one of the other new things is your hot bangers, <laughs> the pod hangers, uh, have two different types of pods. You've got minor pods and you've got builder pods. So we have two builder pods, maybe three actually. We have three builder pods. Nice. So obviously the minor ones can mine <laughs> and the builder ones can build a hole. Cool, huh? Let's get a team together real quick. Who's my weaponry, folks? You're pretty good. We're going to send you over. Oh, that's right. I don't have to do that anymore. I can go here. Let's go to your lowdown. Do we have any primary weapons? Set you up with an assault rifle if we can get one. Otherwise, get you a laser pistol. Who's my other fighters? We've got... Miguel sounds pretty good. Negative 10 on surrender. Janice? Looks like Janice and Miguel son are our two best as far as surrender chances go. Let's get you a pistola, please. Let's see, where are our weapons? I don't know where they are. <laughs> Good question. There's two right there. Good. We're going to get a team out there to go secure that derelict real fast. So we know we, uh, what we have to build. Give me a team consisting of you two. Hopefully it's not overrun and we're good to go. Hit that airlock, please. All 
All right, we got a couple of bugs. I'm going to cheese it a little bit just because this is brutal, by the way. Blast those bugs into oblivion. Don't break that. We blasted him pretty good. Miguel son almost went down. Get you some shooting abilities. And I think that's clear. We have the Arago. Let's claim this. This is our new ship. Well, oh, we need a lot of work. Yeah, temperature is really bad. So, let's get you out of here. We'll undraft this. But we are playing on brutal standard settings. All we're doing differently. Oh, God, don't pass out on me. The only thing we're doing differently is I started with two Hyperium. Apparently, I only have one. <laughs> Where did the other one go? Where did you throw it into? Okay, maybe I only started with one. We've only got one anyway, so we'll work with what we've got. Oh boy. We don't have an energy refinery. We don't build those. Okay, okay. We're gonna rebuild this. We're gonna patch it up, get it going. Uh, let's go to edit. We're gonna go to sketch. I'm gonna keep the general shape of this ship. That's my goal. But we're going to patch the holes in the hole and go from there. We'll build around it. Do what we can. We'll build to there. Build all that out. Give me this. All right, get to work, people. Janus is cleaning it up. We're going to have to go clear this, but I need these guys to get rested up a little bit. This is going to be a rough start. We'll see if we can even do it, but I really wanted to get a video out for Alpha 16 since it dropped. I have a history of getting videos out the same day of release. So we're on backup power here. Now I don't have any... I don't have any energy rods. I do. Okay, so I can use them in here. Nice. So we're starting with an X1 power generator and an X1 hyperdrive. Very good. Very, very good. These two being right here is interesting. Let's go to objects. We'll go to system. So we need a system core, don't we? Ooh, okay. We'll get one of these probably back here, I think. Yep, we'll throw that right there. I think that'll handle this ship pretty well. Let's look at our galaxy. There's been some changes to the map too. So you start in a safe zone. Oh yeah, so we've got names for all these clusters and stuff, right? Cool. Nice, nice. That's pretty cool. You can also navigate over multiple hops too, by the way. A lot of cool stuff going on. Good, this will get built. That'll handle some of our issues here. Whenever they go on break, I'm going to get them out there. They're on break, they're going to eat. Once they've rested up, we're going to send them out. Let's look at priority, shall we? Um, schedules, we might change. This is a big change too, by the way. You can look at your schedules overall and see what kind of skills you have covered, how many people are on there. Do you need people on other things? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Really cool. Uh, let's go to our priorities. You don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, prioritize that. Don't do medical. You can do that, but on very low. I'm going to do maintenance, botany, construction. We'll drop logistics down a little bit. You're going to prioritize all of those because that's what you do. You're going to do that on medium. Don't bother with that or that. Drop that down a little bit. Drop these down. You focus on those jobs, please. Prioritize this a little bit more. 
we're going to knock that down. So all you're doing here is you're left clicking or right clicking. Left cl clicking increases the priority, whereas right clicking decreases the priority. Just FYI. We do not have very many good miners, so I'm going to leave these guys on that. Basically, if somebody's a one on a task, I knock them out entirely. I don't want them bothering doing that. I think this will work for now. For now. We'll reorganize later. Alright, over here we need to build a tools facility. Let's go to resource. We'll build this. I'll slap this bad boy right here. I think that'd be good. How many constructors do we have? Not nearly enough. Construction is going to have to be priority number one for a little while. Well, we've achieved hull stability on here by getting this. Are hull stabilizers even a thing anymore? Are those leftovers? No, they are a thing. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to read about that. Nobody's really doing work. Alright, I'm going to send out a small contingent to go out and investigate the other derelict. We'll see what kind of bugs we have to fight on there. Hopefully not too many. We're going to hit this breach here. We'll scrap the terror. Go investigate. So if you're going to dock at any of these, you select it, you hit dock. You can use airlocks, or if there are no airlocks, you can hit here. If there are no external breaches and there's only a central breach, you can dock out here and then float in. Just a little pro tip for you. Alright, we're going to speed up and walk through here. I think this is an empty ship. I don't think there's any bugs on it, which is great. Ooh, we got one item. Money. And a data log. What do we got over here? A lot of robot stations. Okay, well we've successfully cleared this. Oddly enough, the other ship had more bugs on it. We're gonna rip this thing down for everything it's got. The nice thing is, everything you break apart that's a tech you don't have, uh, you actually get research points for it. So really cool. What do we have for research? We have Industry 1, Operations Console, Nav Console, the Research Lab, and Workbench. We'll work from those. Good deal. We'll get some XP for this, too. Nice. Also, don't forget to undraft your shuttle. Your people will suffocate on the ship. Just FYI. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I sketched, but I didn't activate the sketch. So let's get those done. We'll knock these out, get this ship built, at least in a basic functioning state. And then we'll get ourselves moving as soon as possible. There we go, now we're talking, baby. Let's do a little sketch here. We'll build that in. Nice. We're getting this ship sealed up, and then we'll get powered. Ooh, that might be burning through some energy. All right, what else do we need to be functional on this ship? We've got a little bit of storage, although I'd like to upgrade that to a large storage, if possible. Uh, we've got an engine, we've got power, we've got hull stability, we've got a tools facility. We've got oxygen, we've got toilets, we've got a couple of beds that we'll have to repurpose eventually. Uh, I may make... Ooh, this is going to be a weird, a weird build. Just because I'm going to have to move some of this stuff. <sighs> Let's build out the sketch. Just one more block. Activate that. Or maybe two. We'll do that. Now I think what I'm going to do... I'm not going to move this. I'm going to set up... System. We're going to get our navigation console here so there's somebody that can move the ship very quickly if need be we'll move this is a very odd design all 
All right, the ship is sealed. Now all this stuff should work very soon. Okay, so temperature wise, what are we working with? We've got very little in the realm of heat management. I'm gonna move this guy in here. Let's um, prioritize this as a bit of a bathroom. I want to isolate it. Let's go with this X1 door, not that one. We'll keep this as a bedroom. I don't want to spend any more on this, but I could probably fit more if I did this, this, move that door over here. I don't like that being right there. I may close off this. Let's go ahead and delete this window. I'm going to create a door here and we'll go bed, bed, bed. Although this is going to be a bit of a problem being right there. I don't like it there. We got a lot of work to do, but we're almost viable to be honest. We really don't need much else. Stripping this down is a priority, so we'll be doing that here for a bit. Oh, we got the first entry for the Mary Shelley. I'll leave this up to you guys if we're going to work that. The mission stab is another new thing, by the way. We haven't found any yet, but I think we'll get one eventually. Let's look at our shifts. What do we have covered? I'm going to go ahead and get some people shifted over. Um, Let's see. We've got... I need somebody on construction 24-7, so we'll put Janice and Miguel saw on two different shifts because that covers botany and other things as well. So we'll start with that. We'll add a shift. It'll be sleep here. Free time, free time. There we go, and then you're going to work the rest of the time. How do I add you to this? Oh, look at that. You just hit two. Dude, that is cool as hell. And now I can come up here and tweak this just a little bit, right? Yeah, look at that. You can see what we have on each shift. I think what I'll do is I'll put wheelie on shift two. Oh, dude, I don't even have to organize it. Man, that is awesome. Now we've got 24 hour ops running. I think this will go better. We'll get the stuff done a little bit quicker. So what else do we need on here? We need a shuttle bay. We need hot bangers, a couple of them. I may need to build more of the hole on this thing. Ooh. I've got room for them here. So I'll slap two. We need one miner, one of those. We're going to need this. I may have to build this out. I may have to move that. <laughs> that thing may just have to go. As advantageous as it is to have two of these within a close footprint of each other. I don't know if it's worth it, man. Uh, let's look at what we can sketch out. If I'm going to do this, I need a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 7, right? If I do this, that's a 6, that's a 7. Yeah, I think if I do this, I can fit that there. So let's uh, activate the sketch. We'll make this the shuttle bay. need these derelict this derelict done quick but I need every bit of scrap we can get off this thing okay what else can we get from a life support we've got O2 which that should be enough I think one is good for six if I remember right but that may have changed we have do we have a gas scrubber on here we do not so I'll chuck that one right here We've got O2 generation there. With the tools facility. Very cool. I'm going to delete this. 
if we go to resource, we can get, oh, we can get the ore processor. I think that's for mining deep inside of asteroids. We can get the water collector early. Nice. Maybe I'll get one of these just to boost my collection abilities. We'll chuck that there. I'm going to get a recycler, I think, right here. That works. Nice. I'm not saying this is going to be a pretty ship, but it's going to be a ship. It will fly, and it will have a shuttle and two hot bangers. Okay, that is ready. Let's get a system. No, airlock. We'll go to shuttle. Oh, I underestimated it. Okay, so we need one more tile, so I'll probably just go back one more here. This is the process we're building a ship, man. We're working with what we've started with, mostly. How are we doing on uh, basic resources? We're doing pretty good. I may start shuffling things over. Let's do that, transfer, select all, move it all, please. I'm gonna transfer, which one do I want? <laughs> this is the question. We'll see what we've got when we come back. We officially have power on this ship. Temperature should be coming up slowly but surely as we fix these little thermal regulators. Let me throw a big thermal regulator in here. Um, if I move this, apparently it'll let me. Okay, we'll do that. That'll give me a little bit of space here to block that off. We'll... Hmm, this might actually be better if we rotate it a little bit more. There we go. Now we can block this off a little bit more. It would seem that getting power up is difficult because things keep breaking because stuff is too cold, but <laughs> they break and you can't get heat up because the power is broken because it's too cold. Yeah, it's a catch-22. We're kind of stuck. So I think what I'm going to do is build yet another thermal regulator, but a big bar about her. Somewhere in here. <laughs> oh, about right there. I think I'm going to need to build a power node in here. I think that's really what I'm missing. Let's build this over here. Well, at least get some of the stuff powered. We've got a Merchant Federation ship coming in. This should be interesting, to say the least. I think if we get this power node up and running, it should cover most of our needs. We're learning a new system together. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, the Maldori. They've got missions? None. We can trade with them, though. What do you guys want? gonna buy from you what do I have for money $54 to my name what can I sell you so in trade often energy cells are worth a lot of money whole blocks tend to be hyperium or hyperfuel is very valuable but you can sell a lot of crap generally <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything we really want to sell here kind of want to keep these these are tough to get early on but we may get more later we will see. What do we have on the base? Not much that we want to sell. I need all my food. I need all that stuff. They have things I want, but nothing I need at this current juncture. All right, let's get to transferring one of each of these. So we want, do we want the Atlas for a builder? The mandatory boredom? Or the twig assembler. I think I like the twig assembler. We're going to relocate this bad boy to this new ship. Right there. I accept. Uh, and then what else do we have? We have the lost volt. Or the snowflake. Let's take the snowflake. Oh, well, we can't yet. We need, uh, need to build that, which we're about to. This has juice. I can shift this over a little bit. 
which is great. Nice. How do I get the temperature up? Is my this is my conundrum. How do I get the temperature up if I can't get the power up? This is tough. This is tough, and I'm burning through energy rods as I go. This is a big, tough problem, man. We're getting there, though. Janus, I need you to fix that generator. Stat, get juice to this thing. Get on it, please. Finish that job. All right, we have juice flowing here. It's just breaking left and right. Hope we get the temp up. I just don't think it's happening. It's still too damn cold. I don't get it. I don't get why it's just not warming up. This should warm it up a little bit. That might give it a little bit of a kick in the butt. Ah, uh, cargo port. So that's the new thing. Yeah, specialized cargo docking ports. I think this is to pick up cargo. <laughs> Duh. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think it's for picking up large cargo and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That can't fit there. Yeah, I'm going to have to reorganize this at some point. This is just going to be a jumbled mess for a while. Just be aware. That's what we're dealing with. Let's sketch this out a little bit. I'd like to bump this out a wee bit to fit my operations console in here. Activate that sketch. That's going to be the bridge. We're getting there. It's going to be good, man. This is all full, so we're, we're trying to fill this up. Oh good, you can build from here. Nice. Alright, we're going to get our operations console going. Give me... Like, what is the deal? Why will this not get power? Huh. Is it because I don't have an Energium power generator right now? And that's causing issues? Maybe. Maybe. Let's add a little more sketch here, shall we? We're gonna bump this out a little bit. I'm gonna activate that sketch. We'll get a another power generator going if we can afford it. Yikes. Just heat is not coming up. That's my main issue. And I feel like there's some kind of glitch with me having this. Oh boy. It's good to have a little backup power anyways. A different type of power generation. We'll slap that there. We'll go with a wall right here and here. There we go. Let's get all that over. Because I've got the thermal regulators. It's just not coming up. Because they're not getting juice. It is possible that claimables are not quite ported over to the new system. Possible. I don't think that's the case right now, but it's entirely plausible. Alright, we've officially got another power system. Is this going to fix all of our problems? I hope so. I really hope so. What does our power look like? Still says no power. I don't get it. Yeah, I know that's broken, but I can't fix them. <laughs> I can't fix them fast enough, man. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save and reload. Okay. <sighs> well, reloading did not fix it. So it's not a reloading bug. Well, we've got a Merchant Federation ship coming in pretty soon. I don't get why my temperatures aren't coming up. Really at all. Do we just need more? More thermal regulators, maybe? Let's chuck another one in here. That's about all I can think of. We need this to rapidly pump out heat. As soon as possible. So what we're going to do is chuck that right there. I'm going to get a few of these things going. Let 
Apparently this is overloaded, so maybe, maybe what I need are more power nodes. So what we're gonna do is throw another one of these bad boys over here. Get some more juice on this side of things. That might do it. That might do it. Good day, Military Alliance. What would you like? A new mission available. Routine inspection. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll reveal everything. You can see what I've got. There you go. Apparently you've got a quest. A mission. Capture the person. Captain Alyssa. A young ma. Then transfer them to a station. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> you can choose a reward of a pistol. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they would have. I don't have the ability to handle that right now. So I think my problem is I don't have enough nodes to handle the amount of power load that I'm running. That seems like a reasonable thing that's going on. Alright, we've got another power node. Okay, I feel like we're getting closer. Temperatures are not really coming up though, so I don't know what the hell to do. Well, I think my temperatures are actually starting to come up now. Oh my god, we might actually do this! We're finally doing it! I think what I needed were more power nodes and more thermal regulators. Pretty soon we'll be able to get out of here, holy crap. Okay, well, let's go to our crew. We're gonna go to ships. I'm gonna tell them to live over here. Okay, so we moved everybody over here. We're gonna have them prioritize living and working over here. No working on derelicts right now. I need them to focus on fixing this ship. And then we can get out of here. Make our first jump. And then call it an episode, man. Temps are slowly coming up over here. But mostly just on this side. Interesting. Please repair that. Repair this guy. Why does it say... Yeah, it's broken, so it's 0% utilization. Which is a bit of an issue. Um, okay. I'm gonna have them actually live over here. But prioritize working on this ship. We'll try that. Alright, I think we're starting to get somewhere. The temps are coming up nicely. Slowly creeping up over here. I think as long as we can get a few more of these things up and running, we'll be ready to rock. So I'm going to have to put more of these. I think at this point you need more thermal regulators on your ship. I think that's just the reality of things now. Okay, a few more thermal regulators are in. Temperature is coming up really nicely. This ship is actually livable. Holy crap. We can get out of here. Fantastic. Alright, what do we have to transfer off this thing? All that. Great, we'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel all these jobs, as nice as they are. I need all that off of there. I'm just going to stop these for now. I don't want to stay here any longer before I die the slow death. That is inevitable here. Okay, cool. Oxygen is the next issue, so this needs repair. We need a lot of things to get fixed. O2 generator is on. O2 is coming up slowly. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and close the vent on this. So that O2 propagates over here first and foremost. It's very slow, but it's getting there. It's coming up. It's got a large space to work with. All right, well, I think what we can do at this point, once we get everything transferred over, is jump out of here. And that's about it. Okay, let's uh, go over here. We're going to set everybody to live on this ship. No more of that. No more break time over here. You're going to live here. You can work on derelicts now. There you go. Nice. Ship is viable, baby. Look at that. Everything's getting fixed. We can run this thing now. Let's fire everything up for our first jump, shall we? Go ahead and fix everything, please. Get to work. And we are jumping. We are leaving behind 
Yep, all three of those. That's fine. We're going. Let's go hit this derelict and call it an episode. Oh, cool new change. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Whole new animation. I like it. Deploy, please. Okay. We are done jumping. My main two fighters would be Janice and Miguel Sana. They're both on different ships. Whoops. <laughs> All right. We got a small derelict ahead. There's no, there is an airlock, but we're going to hit the breach. Almost always you want to hit the breach. That is the primary means of ingress. How are we doing on O2? It's still a little bit low, so we might need another O2 generator. This thing is not overloaded. It's doing pretty good. Don't mind the live studio audience in the background. Well, I'm going to send out you two with Wheelie as backup. Hop on the shuttle. We're going to go investigate this derelict. Hopefully it's not too busy. We're going to jump in there. Pop out. Hit C to look. Some dollar dues on the table. Blast them. Blast those bug butts. Somebody open that door. Janice is on it. Pull back. Well done. Clear that room and then this one. I know there's some bugs over here. We'll take to it and... Oh, he was right there. Careful speeding up the game while you're in, <laughs> in a boarding action. Let me just put that out there for you. Another little pro tip. Lots of experience. Screwing that up. Miguel-san, peel back. Get him. Punch him if you need to, Wheelie. Do it. Nice. All right, we're going to send Wheelie in as the prime clearer. Holy shite, there might be a lot. All right, all of you get in here. Wheelie, you're going to engage in fisticuffs while they shoot. Nice. Well done. Oh, boy. Wheelie, I'm going to have you crack open that door. And then this one, get the airlock. Punch him. Yeah, isolate him. Open that door, please, so we can shoot this guy. Draw him out. Draw him out. Good shooting so far. Well done. Punch him, please. Nice. I believe we have secured the Valhalla. And the live studio audience approves. Anyways. What do we got? A whole bunch of money. That's friggin' great. And a data log, and we're gonna punch the table for good measure. Great. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little tough getting started. We got a bug butt that we're gonna throw on here. We're gonna grab energy tech hole. Actually, we're gonna take everything because it's pretty close and we should be able to knock it out pretty quick. But pretty good result. We've got a ship up and running. This is brutal. We're getting her done. Key precepts, I think, for getting started in this is going to be get your power up and running by getting two, two sources of power, get your power nodes going so they don't get overloaded and get a lot of thermal regulators. Getting a ship started is very difficult, it seems. Lots of changes. This might be a brutal thing where that temperature effect is really rough, so be careful with that. But anyways, thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time when we continue with this playthrough with our Battle Botanist crew. Buh <laughs> bye bye